come the yard and uh, oh, I've got some post. My first post ever to the yard. I wonder what it is. Monday morning and I'm on the way to Western. I went yesterday, I went to the student job Saturday to have a look round and to be honest I wasn't wasn't massively impressed at what had been done. I say we've got we've had a lot of labour there and uh, the new lads who've come in have been brilliant. But uh, like I say the one of the plasters we had who uh, was just coming in late, getting off early and yeah just not what you need um, so I went round Saturday just to have a look to get the camera so I set a time lapse camera up and within what 20 minutes of me leaving it's gone and it's been it's been repositioned so that it doesn't catch anything all day what's the odds of that eh? And to be honest, like not enough, not enough was done. So it just obviously it's business. There's no hard feelings. Obviously, there might be a time where we do need each other's help again. But at the moment, I just said we're not getting enough value for money out of them. So um, we just let him uh, laid him off for now. Um, and I went to Western yesterday with my mum. I had a look round, and there's just. Oh, I feel like I feel like the lads must think like I'm having a go at everyone, but like there's just like basic stuff that I mean I don't know how many houses we've done now, but one you do not paint, well you don't paint over wallpaper, and you don't paint over filler that you've put on that you haven't sanded, and then you don't paint when there's a hole, a line that needs caulking. What you do not do is just keep putting loads of paint on thinking that you know this one millimeter of paint is eventually going to fill you know a three four five millimeter gap it won't all it'll do is just one it won't dry properly and then it'll just drip but yeah uh, and then um lads of you know used paint brushes come to our floor just dropped them got off left paint tins open rollers out so all of the brushes are now gone, need new brushes, need new rollers, when I bought the plastic trays and they actually, you can buy a lid for them, so I've paid for this lid that when you use a roller, you put it in, put the lid on and it's got a rubber seal on it so it keeps the paint and the roller usable for the next day, however I've bought it and we just haven't used it, which is boss. I don't know if everyone's the same, but I literally I wake up at like five and then my mind's just going and I'm like putting jobs on the on the group and stuff. Uh, hopefully the lads aren't getting notifications until eight o'clock about it because I know most of the lads probably don't get up at five like me. But um, it's good to come to these jobs on the weekend because like now, literally as soon as uh, Monday morning starts, like my phone just goes ding, 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 ding course just non-stop so it's good to come on the weekend and I can go through the houses without being you know bombarded and I, I've got like a clear head to go through and see what needs doing and make a plan of action for the week so Lou's just asked obviously he's seen that we've fitted the microwave on the last video in the kitchen and he's brought some food in and you want to know whether you can use the microwave don't you yeah. now my initial answer is fucking hell no because <laughs> Brand new microwave. I, think, I know when we brought microwave in the past, what's happened to it? Broke. Broke. Absolute shit everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. People putting beans in with no lids on and oh, yeah, beans, kettle. Yeah. Absolutely. We've had how many kettles have we had? About five. Broke. Absolutely dead. But I've said you can use the microwave yeah, if you put good. if you put a twenty pound deposit down. That if it. Uh, if I open it and it's got beans or... It's very hard for me, no one else. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, deal. Deal, yeah. When we have bits like this where, obviously, I don't know why the skating boards come like a centimetre off the wall there, but where it has, uh, I don't know if they couldn't have got it in. I'm like, well, we can't, 
can't really do it on there. So what's happened is they've um, the plaster's come out thicker than the, the bead there. So that bead should have been there really. Um, but that's another knock on effect on obviously getting the wood square. But rather than corking it and obviously having a gap that sort of draws your eye to it, you can get some filler and go from obviously the edge of the skating board up and then obviously it takes your eye away from away from the what's it called fault or there you go and then do another bit when it dries get that nice and smooth but as you can see then you won't know that there's a big bend there we had a a uh, tub of sand, obviously Simo's put it into a yellow bucket outside and then one person's threw something on it and then everyone's just thought it was a rubbish so um, it got piled with loads of crap and obviously people are asking me for sand and I'm like there's some on that job. Uh, the other thing is that the reason I bought these blast fireboards is to stop shit like this, it fucking pisses me off. So we've almost got a tip of a plasterboard here, which one, we haven't even got white plasterboard, so I don't know where the fuck that's come from. And two, like these little pieces, yeah, sound. But like that size board there, all these big boards should be getting used really. And we have a tipper outside the jobs for a reason. Obviously people are too lazy and I've just started throwing it in the front room. And of course it's lent against some fucking glass. So if that glass is fucking broke, that'll just be absolute. Oh. So this is the uh, this is the quick maths here, isn't it? Yeah. So we come in to buy a few hundred, and now we're leaving with one, two, three, nearly four thousand. Did you sell it was good at the job. <laughs> <laughs> He's upsold me, here. but they're getting rid of what? What is it? Because there are sixty mils, and then they've, they're changing them something else. So because obviously we're doing the ones at the back, we've had these off them and he's got, he's just got odds left. So instead of 2,130, he's done me a discount for, which he probably would have done that anyway, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, finally we can get the stuff at Western done now. Well, this is my life. <laughs> this is what I spend most of the time doing now. But, uh, we've got Paul in and you've got your licence, which is, believe it or not, that's very rare in this industry. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, everyone who rings me says, yeah, yeah, have you got any jobs going? You're like, yeah, yeah, come in. And then like, they go, don't drive, I've got no tools, I've got no this, I've got no that. Can you do this? And I'm like, <laughs> but um, obviously part of my insurance is that, uh, although you've got a licence and that you've, um, are you going right here? Um, You've obviously done your test and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the fleet insurance says that I have to. Um, what's the word? Take you on like a test drive. <laughs> they, <laughs> they asked me the thing like everyone who and I was thinking I don't even know what to say. I was like, yeah, yeah, of course I take people on test drives. Cause I've got loads of time and. <laughs> <laughs> but we are actually going to go because I'll show you. Obviously, you've been to Chestnut, so they know your face now. Then if we go yeah. in and buy anything and then we're going to go to Oldham Brothers, tip this and then we're going to go to pick up sand from uh, Grundy so it'd be good for you to see those three places and then the only other one we really use that we'll go to is uh, Biffa, uh, right. that's in St Helens so I'll um, straight down, yeah you're going left here yeah, yeah. but yeah um, obviously once you've been to these ones they'll know your face and then you'll know how to use the tippers and how amazing these vans are to drive. So Fen's done, some of the jobs he's done is, obviously we've got the fridge freezer, um, not fridge freezer, uh, wine fridge for that. And we've ordered that in so it fits, fits tight. And he's what he's done is he's glued that, the fridge to the side wall, and then obviously this one. And then he's obviously put a step in the kickboard to get it all nice. And then he's redone the skating. And he started doing the upstands on the kitchen now. Which is looking good, isn't it? So he's got all them in, just waiting for them to go off. 
and uh, just waiting for these handles to get these doors on and then this kitchen's pretty much pretty much done then uh, just windows and stuff to clean off and he's now doing stuff on the side of the house we've just ordered more paving for here and down the side here so ben is just what are you doing ben get the bosses get the bosses everything connected up yeah. so we can start using that toilet then or oh, you can pull that red pipe out that's dead sound It's that time of the year, mate. Which one is it? What's that? Uh, the Western Drive job. You know the big one? Yeah. So, we're nearly finished on it, so we need to look at the options. Um, obviously, option one is that we put it on Airbnb, and it does yeah. well, and we mortgage it and keep it. So essentially you'd run it for a little bit, see how it goes, and then remortgage it, yeah? Yeah, so what's the, what's yeah, the, okay, cool. what's the script with um, if it's an Airbnb, do we have to run it for 12 months or what? Um, do they have to show know. like a business one or can we get it valued on basically what it is? Because with this one, what? it'll be worth about 800, 850 and we're only, we're only buying it for 550 so we can only mortgage it for what we're buying it for, can't we? Correct, yeah. So it um, should, it should value up nice, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm just trying to think the best way of doing it because you want to get as much out as possible, I'm guessing. Um, um, yeah, I mean, as long as, ideally we can get as much out as possible, but yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, there's, there's a couple of forums I can go on. Let me just go on this, this forum that I'll start using. Uh, and one of the brokers and just see if anybody's got any ideas. And gosh. any lens. Because what the idea would be is we can get a lender that will value it at what it's actually worth. Yeah. Um, but then, how does that work? Because obviously last time I spoke to you about this lease to purchase, because obviously we don't no, own it. We don't own it. It's actually, it? yeah, no, it's complicated, isn't it? So you don't own it. So whatever you... No, oh God, it's complicated. It's... Yeah. I mean, the only other thing you're going to hate me for saying this is you could bridge it as a purchase and then and then remortgage it straight away. What, same day? Pretty, yeah. So you could bridge it and then then it's in your ownership. Yeah. Uh, and then um, just, then just remortgage it onto what I, either a holiday let or a buy to let at 75% of the full value. It'd be eight bedrooms. And uh, potentially, obviously, sofa beds in the bottom as well, so 10. So it sleep 20 people easily. So, yeah, you get, I mean, how much you get a night? Just go and check it's all come off. 400, 500 a night? 300? Uh, 1500 a night. 15? Card, yeah. Yeah, 1500 a night wow. we're going for in that area. Wow. That's crazy. So, even if it's just Friday, Saturday, it's free. That, that's like... That's like obviously quite good. If we did pay room, we might get a bit yeah. more, but well, I don't know. We're gonna have to put it on and see. Look who it is. Where have you been? Yeah, I've come here. Yeah. Did you hear a cut? I cut my own, yeah. You cut it yourself? Yeah. Yeah? It was all right. Yeah, yeah. I've come what have you been doing? I've got to, I've got to go and see my mate who's dead today. Yeah, you've been off for two weeks? A week I've been off. Two? A week. Two? A week. Two. I've only been up a week, haven't I? You've been two weeks off. Today I've got to go and get a new phone. Because my phone fell down the toilet. <laughs> yeah, right? So, they're getting the voucher today up the door. Yeah. Yes, yeah, get a new voucher. I thought you signed off. No? no I know, no. He said, that, uh, I can't sign off because I'm not getting enough money. Yeah. He said, if you ask... But you're not getting any money when you don't come in. I know, yeah. So, <laughs> when are you back in then? Well, today... I've what got have you been doing for money? Well, I've got no money. That's what I mean, so what have you been, you've been off for two weeks, what have you done for money? No, but I spent my money on what you, you did me. Sound really? Yeah, did you have a good night? 
Well, she said you got barred from uh, everywhere you went. No, he, uh, he said you got he kicked out. You got kicked out and barred from everywhere you went. You won't let me. You won't let me in. What was that? A can of, can of Corona? <laughs> Did you have a good night? Where did you go? We went to town. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lily's bar. Yeah. Been here. She sent me the video of you on karaoke. Yeah, yeah, me and really. Doing a duet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> you missed your to chief it. appointments? Yeah, I've got to go today. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to go today and go pick them up, haven't I? See the yeah. phone, I try and get that phone and I can't even get it off. Oh no, if it's dropped down, I'm sorry, let me tell you. Right, yeah. go on then, you've got a busy day, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's, it, what day is it tomorrow? Tuesday. It's Wednesday tomorrow. It's Tuesday today. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that thing was my memory as well. Been getting these sores in my head, and I'm off my head, maybe, you know, and been getting sores in my head there. Yeah, I can see them, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's killing me. What's that from? I haven't got a clue. You've been the doctors? No, I'm not to see. No, Why don't no. you do that today? Yeah, I'll have to do that as well, won't I? Yeah. yeah Tell me to send them to me, mate, ask them. Yeah. What yeah. they could be. And, uh, and like, no people come up to me and go, John. And you I can't know. remember who they are? No, no. Yeah, you've always been, you've always yeah, been well, a bit well, loopy well, though, haven't you? No, it, it, it's lately. Like, from a More so? Like, yeah, uh, there's a, like, who are you? Mm. And I can't even remember their names. So, it might be a, a, like a type of um, Alzheimer's disease. We were watching a thing on the telly. Yeah. You know when, um, you know when, you know you got the brain scan, it's like, them people are getting younger now. Mm. Uh, I'm forgetting people. Is this Alan? Don't worry, I, I forget people as well. Do you? Yeah. No, I mean, everyone I mean, does. No, I don't know them. Yeah. And then also I know them. They might know you off YouTube. No, I know them from when they were kids and I can't remember. Oh, is it? Yeah, but that's normal, yeah. I mean, you're not going to remember everyone. I can, and I, I, I usually can though. Yeah. But all the ones they grew up with, they go, John, I go, who are you? And then a few days later, I go, oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, remember that, them. That. Right, I better get to work, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. All right, well, uh, we'll see you when we see you then. Yeah. This cement board's on. So, we're on the student job. Plan is to. Uh, the other one is Andre, on that other one. Yeah. Anyone else with them? Just Andre. Just He's happy just, uh, <laughs> just <laughs> plodding on. Just finished the boards and uh, screaming, uh, screaming bead everywhere. Bead uh, on this one now, we're gonna uh, obviously where the roof was leaking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fiberglass over it again. Just gonna redo the roof and uh, to do that, I'm gonna go and get a leaf blower and uh, we're actually gonna get the gas heater and put gas heater on up um, in the room below, and then we're gonna get rid of all the uh, building materials we're not using, so the scaffold, gates, the trestles, um, all those bits. And I'm gonna take, these tiles are left over from the last job, so I'm gonna take these back to Chestnut and pick up some more resin. And then we're good to go, aren't we, to start insulating this loft. So it's Tuesday morning and this house is Getting all ready for skimming. So we've got morning, mate. You're okay? Um, yes, yes, I'm good. Thank you. You're good? Everything people in the next house. I hear them. Do what? Next people. Yeah, they're on the other house. I've just been, yeah. I've just been there. So, finished boarding. Yes, and uh, Michael sent me uh, corner everything. Beads, scrim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking good. <laughs> Yes, I have tools. I have. Uh, we haven't, uh, we haven't introduced you on here, have we? Ah, uh, video, yes. So, this is Andre, and this is, this is Andre. This is Andre. Verska <laughs> Builder Company. I here work. Yeah. Yes. So when, when you from Ukraine? I'm from Ukraine. When did you come to UK? Uh, one year is six months ago. Yeah, yes. and because of the war. Sorry? Because of the war, yeah? Yes, yes. So you're... Uh, Michael was saying, uh, have, you, have you sold your house in Ukraine? Um, no, now my house is okay, Ukraine. Okay, yeah. Yes. You re rent it out? Um, no, I... Mum, mum still. Uh, oh, your mum stays there? Mm, All right. Not, uh, I tell mum, let's go together, mum. Old tell, no, no. She doesn't... She wants to stay? Yes. So... Is it is it okay where you live? It, there's no 
There's no, none of the war, you're not near it. Yes, yes, just now, but um, not like different uh, country. Yeah. And, uh, every time uh, Ukraine live, 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 and now a different country, not easy. Yeah. Is it, was it scary? Uh, yes, yes. Was it? Little. Yes, little, yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay, sometimes we speak, no problem. Yeah. Maybe later, maybe later, think, maybe, I don't know. Um, Michael said you're doing English lessons? Yes, I in English lesson every time. This is English lesson, man tell me, boom, boom, I same co copy, copy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tomorrow, um, teacher helped me <clears throat> one hour. Missing. Need to uh, watch loads of films? Uh, films, uh, no, no, films watch. No, you watch films, it'll help. Ah. Help with the English, although... Uh, Scouse. Scouse is different to English, isn't it? Ah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you can learn English, but not Scouse. Yes, not Scouse. Different language. Yes, different. Sometimes people... Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> so if I said, if I said, yeah, but did you know, don't you know? Yes, yes, not understand. <laughs> Very fast. Slow down, it's okay. <laughs> right, so plan on here. Board, bead, scrim, yes. and then there's a pallet of mm -hmm. um, skim getting dropped off today, so we'll we'll clear the space, put that here. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. No worries, okay. and um, I'll bring the tipper back, so we end it, hopefully end it today, mm -hmm. we can just clear loft down, just clear every room so it's ready for mm -hmm. plastering. Okay. Right, I'll yes. see you soon. I mean, you can tell when the students are back in town because this road is chaos. Look at this. So luckily I'm parking here, but this happens every, like, I don't know even how many times a day people just have a standoff where one car decides to go and the other decides to stop. <laughs> but literally that happens, I don't even know how many times a day. You just hear people swearing at each other outside. So I've just been to Chestnuts and picked up Where have we gone? I've got wood, plywood, resin, top coats, rollers, basically loads of stuff for the student job and some a spare tile for the neighbours one, the other side. Um, and I'm on the way to uh, pick up. So last night, I'm a bit annoyed because my missus in obviously I'm trying to find a way of bringing my missus into the building company. But obviously she's got a good job, so it's like she needs to be doing enough in the company to obviously be able to leave her job. But she's we're doing obviously this Western job, and I think the way it's looking now, we're going to put it on Airbnb short term let to see how it goes, and if it does well, obviously we'll we'll keep it and do that. So. This was her way of, you know, stepping into the company and doing, getting involved and putting a bit of passion and a bit of effort and time because I'm already doing loads of stuff just running my company. I can't be, and there's no way I can add running a bloody Airbnb onto that. But here I am, find myself last night in bed up searching, looking on, obviously because we're doing Airbnb, we don't want to go out and buy all brand new beds when, you know, we might not. We might not have them for we only have them for a few months and if it doesn't work we'll just obviously we'll be putting them back on Facebook Marketplace or uh, paying to get rid of them. So we've been looking on Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, all places like that and oh my god it's an absolute minefield. Like there's people who overvalue the shit out of their shit. So like I didn't know this was a thing, but people I was looking for like like small tellies to put in each room and I was thinking oh, I don't want to buy brand new tellies and be left with 10 tellies so I was looking on Facebook marketplace and I didn't know this was a thing people put tellies on Facebook say 50 quid and you click on it and it goes yeah uh, screen smashed and you're like well, who's gonna buy who's gonna buy that for 50 quid and then uh, another one oh yeah it was working one day it was working and then um, now it doesn't work or we've lost the remote or the you know the, the leads pulled out the back of the telly but we still want 50 quid for it and you're just like you're like what world do these people live in and then the other one is people are really annoys me this really annoys me 
put like a free bed on, they put like an old bed. And you think, okay, yeah, that's like old pine traditional, that's like the type of star we're looking for for this house. And you click on it, and it's actually some crappy company who are like trying to like scam you, and you're just like, oh. So there's loads of that, and then there's other people who just like, like I say, you just click on them and you're like, look at the state of that. And you think, how is someone trying to sell that when we bin stuff, we bin stuff worse than, um, better than that, sorry. But I'm just meeting someone here now who's got a lockup full of um, basically old style mirrors, um, bedside tables, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go and have a look now and see uh, see what we can get for Weston. I've just been to a lockup and got some bedside matching bedside tables and a matching mirror. So there's one bedroom ticked off loads more to go talk about timing <laughs> have i come at the right time i'll carry two for you have you done all of them yeah he's still he's still doing the delivery right go on i'll get them in with you the lads have done well to get a what one two three four five, like six car parking space to get this uh minster delivery because what happens is he's got to drop it off. He's got to park and then they've got a moffat on the back, which obviously he drops down, lifts obviously the boards off. And we've got all our insulation and plasterboard, which we will have to get in rather sharpish. So I'm back here and I have literally just done a call out that was one minute away and now everything's fucking soaking wet it rained as soon as I got there and I couldn't leave it because it was an electrical one. So now I've got to rush to Western and try and get this all in before it's absolutely soaked. Oh! Tube, can I? You, why are you going camera shy now? <laughs> so, you reckon, you reckon I should get this light for my yard? Yeah. You reckon the neighbours would be happy with that? Two. So, if I got, what's a normal, what's a normal like 10, 20 watt? Spotlight in your garden. How many lumens that? It's, it's on that board over there. On, on, in the corner. Oh yeah. How many lumens is this one? So ten watt, cool white, warm white. You're looking like a thousand lumen. <laughs> How many is this? That is eighty four thousand. Eighty four thousand. And how, how much is one of them? How much is a thousand lumen? Light. Like twenty quid. Twenty that. quid. And how much did you say this was? So you said this was fourteen hundred pound, and that's looking after me. And I can do um, I can just put it on one centre. So every time someone walks within fifty meters of the yard, yeah, you I can I get them on CCTV and light good light. <laughs> and I can start charging people for the tan. <laughs> Where are we off, Rach? To get a bed. To get a bed. So we've just brought round Western, haven't we? And realised what we need to buy, what we don't need to buy, the stuff we've got, what rooms it's going in. So I've just been like looking at stuff going, yeah, that's traditional, we'll have it. That's that, yeah, we'll have it. But what did we realise then that we need? Obviously, it's hard going like, because the stuff we've got free from one of the student jobs we're ripping out, it's like, where do we use that? But you've been happy with the stuff I've bought, haven't you? And the stuff I've got for free. Especially the stuff I've got happy. for free. You wouldn't say happy? No. Are you, are say you, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. <laughs> you're, you're like the opposite of me now. So on our house, you're like, we need this, that, 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 and I'm like, no, we don't. And then now we're doing this, and I'm like, well, if we're going to rent it out, we need this, that, 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 and you're like, nah, just leave that. You're treating this as a business now, not our house. Yeah, it's more important. I have bedside tables than the house has bedside tables. But I'm buying bedside tables off Facebook Marketplace, and Rachel's buying them from like Laura Ashley or somewhere. So there's a bit of a bit of a difference. 
isn't it? And it wasn't even that long ago you were moaning at me saying that we never have any fun anymore. Like we used to, we used to. Uh, I, I don't even mean like oh we never have any fun anymore. Fun anymore. You were like, you used to enjoy doing the house together on our house. You were like, we used to like you know go and pick the windows up from absolutely miles away and pick the van up from there and, yeah, and it's here fun you go. When it's your own here house, you go. But when it's someone else's house, it's not as fun. Your uh, your mum offered to mind Anderson. And I was thinking, oh, a nice little night with uh, Rachel. And here we are. Instead, we're going to Chester to buy to pick up a bed off a uh, off Facebook Marketplace. I hope we get there. It's not like some scam. You know how to treat the night, don't you? Oh yeah, I know how to treat the girl, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon two weeks we'll be looking to rent that. What do you think? Oh. I can't afford four weeks, so it will be done in two. If you're going to be in the company, you need to learn how to drive these vans because there might be a day where I might reach up and need you to go and take this van and pick this up or. It's your vans, to what? Upgrade them? Sprinters, these? Mercedes? Can you imagine if I went out to town now? I was single and I told the girl I've got four Mercedes. <laughs> How impressed he'd be. Just, just rewind six years, is it? Rewind six years if I just showed you, like, I was swinging my keys and I had four Mercedes keys. How impressed he'd be. And you were like, what well, have you got Mercedes, have you? And I go, four, yeah. Pick and, pick and choose which one I want to drive. Why are you going to shine out, come on? Are you talking about crap? This is your interview with the boss. What 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 can you offer the company? Buying skills. Which? Negotiating skills. Buying, negotiating, yeah. So when we have the yard, yeah. you're going to be in charge of finding companies, manufacturers. You could run the call outs, couldn't you? Yeah. Answer the phones, the call outs. Take off. Take half the money. And what else did we think of? What about if we buy more plants and rent it out? Because we've got the yard, we've got the storage. If we get import more diggers, crushers, conveyors, would you be able to manage that side of things? Not rent them out. Yeah. Yeah. So what other ideas of income? Well, the Airbnb. Oh yeah, she's gonna be running. God, you're gonna be busier than me. Oh my God, I thought I was busy, but you're gonna be doing an Airbnb, changing all the beds, booking people in, answering, call, answering calls at 3 a.m. saying they've lost that. the keys, they can't get in. Yeah, what else? You're gonna be doing the mini diggers, letting them all out, organising that. You're gonna be doing the call outs, answering the phone to that. And you're gonna be buying all the stuff for the yard. Wow. I'm getting a good deal here, aren't I? got the job if you can guess to the pound how much it's gonna to cost to fill this sprinter with diesel I'll give you the same 91 pounds. 91 125 I won't let you do the budget for the year for diesel then so update what's happened Go to Chester. Yeah, we've got here and what? On the way, I've got like no battery on me on my phone. Oh, there, ducks. Oh wow! You're gonna have to get a video of that. You've, look at these ducks. Someone's carved. Is carved the right word? Ducks into the hedges. Look. Oh my god! And I get these call outs all the time, don't I? And they just rang and said. Hi, uh, have you got a job there? And I was like, listen, I can't do them. I'm in Chester. And she went, oh, good news, because uh, the job's in Chester. And I was like, no way. But problem is, uh, put, it, put it in your phone quick, screw fix. I've, I've come in one of the other vans, and the other van, this van is not set up for call-outs. I'm going to guess right. No. Um, this van's not set up for call-outs, so we need a light switch 
and I haven't got any light switches on this van. So screw fix shuts in what, 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Nine minutes away. Nine minutes, shut up, nine minutes away and it shuts in 10. Here we are, screw fix. This is actually, <laughs> I feel like this is like a scene off Dexter who wants to murder someone. This is where you'd bring them, isn't it? So no, we're on a call out now and uh, it's just gone today, is it? Literally about an hour and a half ago. Obviously you can yeah. see the uh, rocker switch and whatever's gone. Uh, oh yeah, it's come on now, but yeah, yeah it's totally gone, isn't it? So yeah. nice easy one. Hopefully we'll take this off. Yeah, uh, new one on and then uh, that'll be it. Flashing. Obviously don't call an emergency electrician at this time of night just to swap a light switch. However, I. I understand what he was saying. He was like, well, the light switch was stuck on and he didn't want to wake up in the morning with a big bill. But, <laughs> but like, I mean, I could work it out, but I imagine if he left his, his lights on all night, it would have cost him 5p. So, yeah. Wait till the morning if it's not an emergency. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more of Rachel on the call outs. What do we say to people if they're enjoying the channel? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Never seen someone so happy. So, I'm on the way back to Western. I've just picked up two couches. And uh, I also got two bedside tables while I was in the area of Facebook Marketplace. And same with I thought I'd mention the, the person I just picked up the bedside tables from said that, uh, and all, all the ones I've picked up actually, uh, I've said there's loads of scams. There's loads of scammers on Facebook, and what they're doing is they'll try and sell something or they'll try and buy something, and they'll, if you're buying it, they'll ask for your address, and they say, oh, um, can a bank transfer you the money now as a deposit? And obviously they get your bank details and your address and they somehow use that information to try and do something but um yeah watch out for that and then i just got a, i just got a text then so yesterday i did a call out which was um by the student jobs and it was just to connect an oven so someone had bought a new oven you get them all the time because obviously it says on it that it's got to be connected by an electrician and it doesn't come with a plug if it's hardwired and dead easy, dead quick job. And they've obviously rang through the call out company, so they needed it urgently. And I've gone there, fitted it, sound. And uh, the woman's like, I tested it. And uh, one of the rings on the hob wasn't working. And the woman's like, well, I'm not paying because that's not working. And I was like, what's that got to do with me? Like, you know, all, all I've done is, um, all I've done is connect the oven that you bought. I just had a text from the woman's daughter saying I'm a rip-off merchant and she's reporting me to trade and standards and all I do is go around ripping old women off and I should feel ashamed of myself because I didn't get the hob working. The, the one that was the one that wasn't working. And I didn't even know whether it was like a setting on the thing, but I was just like, look, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not standing there all day pressing buttons on your, on your oven. But yeah, not, not what, um, not what I was expecting to be honest. I offered to go around and like disconnect it for her for free if, if I just want to come and send someone to do it. And then she was asking for an installation condition, an installation certificate, and a condition report on the house. And I was like, well, you've got to pay for that. And she was like, no, it says on Google that it comes free with every, and I was like, oh. You know, and you're just like, oh my God. Nice plane, and Ben, I've got the basement windows in. Ben's got the front door in. Nice, and wouldn't you know it, I've just loaded these and started absolutely lashing down. And the moment I pull up to the job, 
it stopped. Typical, typical. The, um, I've just picked up them side cabinet, uh, little two little white cabinets. I reckon the woman must have painted them because every time I picked them up, like, you know, it's been raining and I, I think she's used like emulsion on them or something. <laughs> um, but you were saying then we've got it, I'm going to get stain block for this. But that's an uh, internal wall, obviously next doors is that way, but you were saying that's from the glue of wallpaper paste, yeah. wallpaper paste can make it go like that, so yeah. Um, because it looks like a leak, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, get in here done. Where are we up to in here? She has a wall of fire and then just up where to do. So? And then I need to get my mum in to clean the windows. So? Yeah, there was only like a little bit above the thing there, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then you're onto this room now, which we fixed the leak in this room, but I don't know if it's still leaking. It, well, it looks like it is on this video, but. Um, we've had no heat in this room, so I'm going to go and put the heating on now. And uh, I'm picking beds up for these two rooms. And then, um, I can't remember if it's this room, it's getting plastered. Um, did I say I was going to... I think I did, you know. I don't know if it's a... I'm not, I think I'm just plastering them. Yeah. Oh yeah, up there. Up there, and then... Like, why? Why do I have people who do shit like this? What the fuck is that? And that? Who's done that? Like, why is that? Why would anyone think that was acceptable? Fucking hell. And these brand new chairs. These were brand new chairs. Someone's been using it for fucking skimming. Boss. Absolute hero. I've just come to <laughs> come to pick a bed up. <laughs> One I've got off um, marketplace. And uh, what time is it now? Quarter past five. I got here for four, so half five. Been an hour and a half stuck outside this woman's house, <laughs> and he's just shown up, and it's an air fault. Went to start the van. Got the ba uh, bed loaded. Went to start the van, and uh, nothing. So I rang our other mechanic, but he's in um, Egbeth. And so I was Googling uh, Warrington ones. And what's your, what's your name? Joe. Joe? Yeah. What's the company name? Uh, no Nonsense Auto Care. No Nonsense Auto Care has just come and diagnosed it within 10 minutes or whatever. So what is it? It's an, so obviously the starter motor needs an earth from yeah, yeah. that. From the battery to the starter motor, the and then to the body, and then the body to the engine, and then the starter motor bolts into the engine, so it's like earthed out through the through the bolts. Yeah, and which one is it? It's the, the body to the engine. Body to the engine. You've taught me a few things today. I can't believe I didn't know that you could jump start a van with them. Like the amount. So that is the positive to the battery. And obviously the negatives there. The amount of times I've jump started these vans and I've had to go in the um under the seat, you've got to pull everything out, the carpet's up, the rubber up, there's like four screws you've got to take out, then you slide that thing, there's a metal box, and you've got to take the metal box off to get to the battery. And I could have just done them. I've just messaged the um marketplace people and I'm going to pick these two wardrobes up now. But my battery's about to die! So, thanks to the mechanic, tonight wasn't a complete disaster. We've got a nice big wardrobe and a, a nice um, bed frame as well. So, 
I'm going to get these back to Western now. And all oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to have to get them back to Western and cover them up in case it rains tonight. I'm finally back at Western and I've had to cover the things because there's no way I can lift this in on my own. But then I've covered it and I thought, what if it lashes down and all the water just sits in here and obviously soaks the bottom of the wardrobe so I've tilted the tip off of it. <laughs> so fingers crossed it doesn't rain tonight. So it's Thursday morning and oh, last night was a bit of a mad one. Got back dead late and I obviously my missus and son had gone to bed and I was like, oh, absolutely dead. I hadn't had any dinner and I thought, oh, I'll go and have a beer and go through the editing on the app because I normally do it in bed. But my missus would go mad if we was doing it there. And yeah, God, I had two, I had, I had two beers and I feel, I feel horrible today off it. Like, I feel like I, I'll have a beer, say, when I have a long, hard day and I just need to go to bed and I can't switch off. So I'll have a beer and it'll help me just like relax and switch off. But like, the more I think about it, it's just, it's just terrible for you, isn't it? Like it is literally just a poison. So when I was ill a few weeks ago, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink anything. And I feel like my body just absolutely, you know, got rid of everything. And I felt great, I didn't even, um, I wasn't drinking, I was looking at cups of tea thinking, oh, like, you know, I don't even, I don't even feel like tea anymore. I didn't feel like um, any any types of like crappy food or whatever, like no McDonald's or anything like that, I was thinking. And slowly, you, you sort of have one, then another, and then, at some point you just look and you think oh my god like all I've had today is I had a McDonald's breakfast wrap and then I had a McDonald's burger and then like and you think that's all I've had today and you think like you can't obviously you can't live like that it's just this industry is so hard because everything's about deadlines and getting the most out of people and things so everything's rushing around your lunch break it's like but well, I think I need to like do one of those like box meal things where obviously I can just prep them on a Sunday or even pay a company to do it, see, and then start just having shakes in the morning and stuff. I'm going to start uh, cut, cut like tea and caffeine out as well because I feel like, I feel a bit weird off that sometimes as well. I just don't feel like I normally do. And I, um, I always think it's because when I played footy, obviously you're training every day and you know, you're fit and you're healthy and you have this weird, you have this weird mentality that, you know, because you're doing that and because you you feel fit and healthy that, like other things don't apply to you, that you know you can get away with eating crap because you're training that much and to a sense you can, but it will it always catches up with you, and obviously now I've stopped playing footy, I've not replaced that you know, burning the calories with anything as much as that. And yeah, I just feel like since I've stopped, my body's just been like, ugh. But then it's just time as well. I feel like since I've stopped playing footy, my day's just full. Like, I have no idea how I used to train three, four times a week. And I look now and I think I haven't got any time to do anything. <laughs> like I'm absolutely backlogged with stuff that needs doing and I haven't got time to do any of it. So, on a student job and obviously uh, one of the owners come yesterday and obviously on the plans it looks fine but then in reality he's come and gone well hold on this is the dark, this is like the living area and this is the kitchen he was like the kitchen's bigger than the living area it needs to be the other way around so we're obviously we've got the dimensions for this little stud wall to make it a sort of peninsula now wants to move all this across which obviously a bit annoying that we've obviously done all the electrics first fix plumbing fit everything's in for it but obviously it's easier to do now than when it's insulated board etc so yeah we're just going to move this wall over a bit and obviously give us a bigger living area but this job's shocking at the minute I'm trying to get rid of all the materials we don't need that are going to go to the lock up now. So on student job that we're about to start skimming and uh, annoyingly we've got this leak so if we leave this bucket here rather than 
And then we can see how bad it is really, but it's literally one drop here. And this is the only bit now um, that was the original roof. Obviously that's the, that's the only bit we hadn't really done anything with to, so. So you can see where we've done the door and we've left that original roof in, so. I've just pulled the tiles up and got a little video, but I can't see anywhere it's getting in. It does seem to be where the, obviously the downspout's coming in there, so. But obviously if it's doing it there, I don't know if it's just an overload of water, but that shill still shouldn't leak like that. So one thing we can do is either pull all these old tiles up, refelt and batten it, or we could send the down pipe in an actual pipe and then into the gutter and see if that stops it. But in theory, I'm gonna probably pull these tires up and refill them back now. Cause even if like, you know, we have a monsoon of rain, like it's the, these tires should be able to handle obviously what's coming out that down pipe. Andre's not happy that I'm not filming him. Cause he's worn, he's worn his, he's worn his jumper, especially today thinking I was filming. Very, very beautiful jumper. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, you've done well. Have you made that? This is you, Ukraine. This is Did you Ukraine. make that? No, I um, help help remind me. Lady help me. This is true. Your missus? Yes. She she made that. That's yes, good. Lady Ukraine. <laughs> no problem. This is, this is <laughs> what are you doing today? Why are you doing everything? Fucking shit, this is everything. Yeah, scrim, angle beads, get it ready for. Scrim, this is corner, everything. Um, so, some of them, uh, we've got uh, stop beads. So if you can't get an angle on, we've I got. Have, you've got the stop beads. Ah, stop beads. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're in here, yeah. There's 10. Yes. Yeah, so obviously just mix them up. Oh, let me show you one upstairs. Mm -hmm. But yeah. We're going to put a stop, we're going to try putting a stop bead on there because otherwise you come in and what's happened in the last house you come in it's like, you know, when they plaster it. Um, yes. Unless we get an angled uh, trial, which out of everything I own, I haven't got an angled trial. But they have like a trial that is uh, adjustable. Mm -hmm. An angle one, I'll show you it now. Another little tip is, whoever's, whoever's bored of this and it's just got the measurements wrong, obviously, We've got like a gap here where either the roof's out or whatever. But what we do is you like double, double scrim it and then you get your foam gun. Have you got your foam gun? No, I haven't got mine either. And uh, you literally put the edge of the foam gun in there and obviously fill that void. And what happens is the scrim holds the foam from coming out. And then that way, when you come to do that, that'll be hard. And you won't have to keep filling it with plaster. Yeah, so we're just dropping all the stuff off at the storage and then some of the stuff we're not using at the minute, the barriers and uh, trestles and that we can leave. But I'll just come to the yard and, uh, oh, I've got some post. My first post ever to the yard. I wonder what it is. So I'll took the sides off so we can get a bit more on it today. You can see the fellow here is on the uh, scales. He's gonna give him a shout once. Once you've hit the limit, take two. Annoying, isn't it? Having to come back and forth. But I can't believe I've only just thought of this, what we were talking about in the van, about just getting a tipper trailer. Yeah. But have you seen the price of them? Jesus Christ. So. That's something we could potentially do, but then, I don't know how... Oh shit, myself then, what was that? <laughs> you do not want to come to Oldham Brothers when it's rained, because fucking hell, there's wheels gone there. And that, another good tip gone there. So I do recycling it, can't even get a picture of it. What are we on today? Plaster them. So what are you doing now? Why do we do that? Yeah. What happens if you don't PVA the wall? 
Or the other thing yeah. as well is like, if it's like, that's all right. Sometimes, you know, if it's like um, gloss painted walls, it's like dead smooth and there's not like enough of a, like this. So if this wall was dead smooth, I think Ronnie done this, didn't he? <laughs> but he's basically put a key in it. He done that to really try and get the paper off, but that paper's absolutely rock solid on. So we're gonna skim over it and... Uh... So, but yeah, he's put a bit of a key in it, at least so the plaster takes in. So what's it in here? One, two, three, four walls. And then three walls in that other bed, or two walls in that other bedroom. Do that in the afternoon. So, although I'm, I'm not like physically able to do much today, although I'm actually doing loads today, um, I've just got to be there on the job, just making sure that the lads, the order of everything, making sure we get a good productive Friday. And then I'm also trying to tick off all these little jobs that like I've just been getting backlogged. So one of them is, which is a bit of a weird one. We had it was a few years ago we had the delivery, and um. The driver obviously was dropping mud off and as the lads were carrying it in they've come out and the driver said he's fell down like a, a, a manhole cover for the water tap and we were like well you know we, we just started work on the house we haven't done anything to the front and he reckons he's kicked this like you know 10 kilogram grid off and his legs gone down it and he's damaged his testicles and it was all a bit like, what the hell, you know what I mean? But obviously, uh, we get loads of we get loads of supplies from this company. So I was like, well, look, you know, he said he was going to have to take the next day off work because his leg leg was sore. Um, so we offered to him, we offered to obviously give him his day's wage sort of thing if it helped him if he, if he was genuinely hurt and he's off off the next day. But um, he, he said, oh no, like he doesn't need that sort of thing. But then a few weeks later, I get like a message saying like, yeah, he's put a claim in against the company. But then it was a bit of back and forth because obviously we haven't actually done anything to that grid. It's like we've got the keys to the house and we've got a delivery, but we're the principal contractor. So it's sort of like everything falls on us. But then obviously you do a health and safety risk assessment of the site. Obviously you have to do it every day you're on there, but that was never flagged up as anything because you have to physically lift it out to be able to fall down it so i don't know it was a bit of a and then afterwards obviously the lads who were there were saying that oh he was uh when he pulled up he said i can't i can't carry any of the wood for you because i've hurt my leg and it's the same leg that obviously he's, he's claimed for now so it's a bit i mean i i always feel like everyone tells the truth i doubt I highly doubt someone would go about, you know, pretending to fall down manholes and stuff, or, but you know, you never know. Um, but yeah, we've got to go to court over that, so I don't really know how that's going to go. But obviously, I'm sure it will affect my insurance and it will go right up, which is great. And just more on the overheads, but that's why we have it. And if it is a genuine claim, then so be it. As you grow and get more vans and more staff, unfortunately, the chances of this stuff happening is more and more. It's just having things in place to reduce the odds of that. Again, I don't really know what we could have done about this one, but it is what it is. Yeah, so what we obviously, why we've got so many Y joints is because we don't want even though this is only a short drop from this toilet, but what we're thinking of doing is swapping that, where well, that's a T now. Like, I don't really like T's, because basically, if someone flushes the toilet there and a load of wipes and soils and thing land here, the water will go away. However, you know, it's, it's not, like, most of it's momentum. Let's just say it's traveling 10 mile an hour there. By the time it hits that and then starts coming this way, it's gonna be like one, two mile an hour. Whereas we want to, what we want to do is come up with, put that there and then obviously connect to that one and then put a 90 
on the end of this Y and then that way it's hitting obviously the 90 bend continuing the thing and then it's obviously in this Y branch it's obviously carrying on down to here connecting to this toilet and then where that toilet is we're going to bring that up connect it into this one and then from the top of that we're going to vent it out so that every toilet's got an airflow ah oh, effort this one in it on a, one thing when you leave when you do remove a pipe and you have a little crappy bit in that i think every builder's had this fight <laughs> come on one more for youtube lad. hey how can you add it then You must have that now. <laughs> Friday wins. So, uh, just at the yard, and um, obviously we're trying to get it where we can hardcore this bit and get it concreted, so we can actually start using the yard straight away. But you've come down from Gundy's, haven't you? And do you do all the uh, quantity surveying? Yeah. But I said about 500 ton. How much do you reckon we need? Yeah, about the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to come and say uh, it was a lot less. A lot less, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll speak to him about um, seeing if... Uh, uh, well, I'll bring me digging and spread that out and then see if we can start getting some loads in and getting it usable. Yeah, yeah just uh, let us know when you need, need yeah. stone to, to come down. And, I mean, you could... If you needed a 13 ton digger for the day or something like that, you could get it all done and dusted in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next doors have done a dormer though. It's a bit of a weird extension, isn't it? Yeah. Why'd you do a double story apex there? It's a bit weird. Um, lovely though. Nice and big, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we, it's a bit of... It's just one of them. Yeah. On the land registry, it's all fine. It's all up in the loft here. You go up again, even. But it's handy that it's got this bit at the front original, so you don't have to do anything with that. And then, obviously, this bit now. And so there are three. There's three big floors, so you just have to... It just feels a bit... all over the shop. Here we are. This house is... all beaded, ready. It's got the stock bead on nice, like we said. All scrimmed. I film that bit in. I scrim that. So we're almost ready for the almost ready for the machine in here. So one bit we've got to do is just box in these little tiny bits and then little snaggy bits like let's just put another strip of a uh, board in there so it's ready to go. But for this now, ready to uh, come in and spray the shit out of. So yeah, one thing I hate. On these is these fucking keys, mate, because this happens and then someone snaps the key and then it's no good to anyone. So I just keep them. I've got a bag of like a million keys. Just got little bits to do here. All these ready. Always put that on nice. And you just need to put the cup on the plan. Just throw it on, it's open in it. Yeah, do you need the key to lock it now? No, no, it, it just opens up, doesn't it? So, that's a wrap for Friday. And another good week. Got loads done. And, let's see, it's just gone five o'clock now. Everyone else has got home. But I have to go round and snag and plan to see uh, Andre's going to come in tomorrow and finish some bits off so it's going around the other student job so we're just dying to get that one ready for plastering really and then if you are a local plasterer message me because we are needing a few plasterers and for some reason like don't take this the wrong I'm sure there are some normal plasters out there but most of them 
Out of all the trades, plasterers, in my experience, are by far the most, what's the right word? The most unique. Like we've had some we've had some funny ones over the years, so but out of all the trades, yeah, they seem to be the hardest to hardest to hire and the hardest ones to sort of either you know they don't come in or they come in and they're dead weird or they come in they have their own way of doing things and they do ah oh, it's just like i give up give up if you're liking what we're doing as always subscribe to the channel we need by the way subscribing to our channel does not mean that you pay us <laughs> I've had loads of older people message me saying, well, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to subscribe because, you know, I'm, YouTube's free. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't mean that you're, when you press the subscribe button, it doesn't ask for your bank details. It is literally just to say that, you know, you're enjoying the videos and you're subscribing to our channel. You're more likely to get, you can also set alerts so that when we upload a new video, you'll get a message to say, because I've had a few mates saying, when's the next episode up? And then I'm like, oh, it's up. And they go, oh, why haven't you told us? Um yeah, you can set an alert so that obviously when the next one comes up it'll it'll alert you. And if anyone wants to donate any money and sponsor this week's episode, well not this week's but next week's, um yeah, at the end of each one I'll put on the just given and hundred percent of all that goes towards finding a house for Simo to live in and anyone else who needs be, depending on what size we might get a, if we can, we'll get a one-bed flat, great for Simo. If not, if we can get a house and do a bit of work to it, even better, get more people in. But yeah, it's something that we're gonna, something we've always wanted to do, but we're gonna keep uh, keep pl plodding along. And then once YouTube starts paying us, you should see that sort of go up each week. And hopefully, you know, if we get a hundred pound a week off YouTube, then hopefully it'll cover the bills, council tax, etc., and we can really do some good from just videoing ourselves in work. 